Hey guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to take a look at lines and other curves. Lines, line segments, and other curves can also be defined parametrically as well. So if we look at this first example, we're going to graph out a line segment. And it says that we're going to draw and identify the graph of the parametric curve determined by x equals 3t and y equals 2 minus 2t for t values between 0 and 1. And I'm going to use my calculator to help me out on this one. So in my calculator, I'm in parametric mode. For x, I typed in the 3t. For y, I typed in the 2 minus 2t. I'm going to have to adjust my window just a little bit. We were told that we wanted our t values to go between 0 and 1. So my t minimum, I'm going to set at 0. My t maximum, I'm going to set at 1. And then I'm going to hit graph. So taking a look at the graph, we can see that we have a line segment connecting the point 0, 2 to the point 3, 0. And that should make sense to us. If we think about making a table of values for t, x, and y, we want t values between 0 and 1. Well, I'm just going to plug in 0 and 1. If I plug 0 in for t in the x, I'm going to get 0. If I plug in 1, I'll get 3. Plugging 0 into that y equation, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 minus 0 is 2. And then plugging in 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So we have the points 0, 2, and 3, 0, like we just talked about. Now, if we wanted to take this and write it out in a non-parametric form, we can do something called eliminating the parameter. So I'm going to focus on x right now, where we've got x equals 3t. And I'm going to solve to get t alone by dividing that 3 over to the other side. So then this would say t equals x over 3. What I can do with that is I could take this information, this x over 3, and plug that in for t in my y equation. So then this would say y equals 2 minus 2 times x over 3. Then doing a little simplifying with this, y equals 2 minus, now if I take 2 times x over 3, that's really going to be 2 thirds x. And typically, when we've got a y equals equation, we like to put our variable first. So this is going to be the equation y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. And if we think about what happened with those ordered pairs, it went from the point 0, 2 to the point 3, 0, and then it stopped. So if we think about defining a domain for this specific equation, that would be for x values that are between 0 and 3. So there is a connection between these parametric equations and what we already know about slope-intercept linear equations. Now in the next example, we're given ordered pairs that are the endpoints of a line segment. And we want to sort of work these backwards to figure out a parameterization. So figuring out what those equations are for x and y. So we're told that the endpoints are at negative 2, 1 and at 3, 5. I'm going to start by focusing on the point negative 2, 1. And what we're going to do to help us with this parameterization is assume that this happens at a t value of 0. So what we can do with this is, as far as that x value goes, it's going to be negative 2. But there's going to be some additional information on here with that specific t value. So I'm going to take some number a times my t value. And again, since we're letting t equal 0, if we plugged in 0 here, we would get that negative 2 for that x value. And we're going to do something similar as far as the y value goes. So this y value is 1, but we're going to be adding on some additional information about t. And I'm going to take b times t this time. And again, it follows. Since we're assuming that t is 0 to start with, if I plugged in 0, I would get that y value of 1. Now if we take this another step further and we look at this other point, 3, 5, let's assume this happens at a t value of 1. Using this information and those equations that we just came up with earlier, let's focus on the x. If we take this 3, that's our x value, so I'm going to plug that in for x, that's equal to negative 2 plus a times, we were assuming that this happened at a t value of 1. So I'm going to fill that in. And what I'm going to do is solve this for a so that I can figure out what this a value is that goes in front of this t. 
Well, one times a is just a, so this is really saying three equals negative two plus a, and then if I add that two over to the right-hand side, that's gonna leave me with an a value of five. So I can rewrite this x equation with that a value plugged in. So this would be x equals negative two plus five t. Now I can do something similar with my y values. The y value from the second point is five, so I'm gonna fill that in for y, and that's equal to one plus b times one, since we're assuming this happens at a t value of one. Well, b times one is just b, so we get five equals one plus b, subtracting this one over, and we get a b value of four. So I can then take that b value of four and plug that into my y equation, so I get y equals one plus four t. Now we do also need to define our restrictions on the parameters. That first point we said happened at a t value of zero. That second point we said happened at a t value of one. So my parameter is gonna be for t values that are between zero and one. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching.